Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Bar From Diaries. Cheers, look at my wonderful cup. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are reviewing some black businesses, Lav Lash London and Our Lovely Goods, which is basically beauty and skincare. And we're gonna have a conversation about black businesses, the positives and the negatives to supporting black businesses, even though are there really any negatives? There could be, but we're gonna get into that. So enjoy this video and make sure you guys can't even wink subscribe okay so the first black business we're going to talk about is lab lash london so here's her business card as you guys can see it's an eyelash company so these are the lashes they come in this packaging which looks really cool and it's also like a case and it also comes with a spoolie now a spoolie is to actually just you know comb out your eyelashes it comes with this wonderful case and then it comes with a cute pink suite um, and i think this is just very feminine like if you're a feminine girl you love pink and this is totally like legally blonde vibes, girly vibes, like Malibu Barbie kind of vibes. Um, unfortunately, um, it doesn't come with any eyelash glue. Now that for me is a bit annoying because I always love like if I'm gonna purchase um, eyelashes, I always like eyelash glue. Although I do own my own eyelash glue, which is important. It's just always nice to come with lash glue, but it kind of makes up for the packaging, I guess. So this is cute and we're gonna open it. I haven't even opened it yet or used it. And I'm actually gonna try it um, on my eyelashes right now because as you can see my face is beat but it's missing that extra you know spark and bedazzle so this is what it actually looks like can you guys zoom in zoom in zoom in magic that looks absolutely pretty i chose these lashes by the way so they're pretty dramatic and extra and then now because it's like a case so what you have to do is just flip it open ah, you guys get the first view of what it looks like I actually want to see what it looks like. Okay, great. This is really cute. Okay. I'm just taking it out of the package right now. Okay, so I have literally put one eyelash on and you guys are going to be shocked. By the way, I've specifically chose dramatic lashes, okay? So here is one of the reveals. Pow! Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, I know this is really extreme. I've just put glue on this one and I'm waiting for it to dry. I use my duo glue. This is like one of the best glues and it's pretty affordable. Is it from MAC or is this a cheap one? I think it's a cheap version of the MAC one, but either way it does the trick and I'm just going to apply this so you guys can actually see. And I really wanted to go for dramatic lashes if I was going to pay, I think I paid like £15 for it. So I was like, yeah, let me get some dramatic eyelashes. No natural. So let's just So my hands are naturally sticky today. I don't even know why. Hey babe. Hey, how you doing? What's this poppin'? I really like you. Do you really like me? Ah! Oh my God, this is so amazing. Okay. I'm really excited actually. Wow. Oh my God. These lashes are amazing. Wow, hold on. <laughs> these feel really comfortable oh my god i've never really had lashes this big like this is so dramatic to me oh my god. <laughs> but uh, i love it and the thing is with these lashes as well because they're so dramatic normally what i do is i put eyeliner on and then i kind of have natural looking eyelashes so you can't really see where it's glued or anything like that and it doesn't look tacky because i've got eyeliner on but with this honey child you do not need to wear any eyeliner but um yeah so that's love lash london and you can find their website in the link below and i'm actually really i'm feeling these right now um and then i will i will let you guys know by the end of this video if i'm really feeling 100 percent. but so far like with lashes you can't really go too wrong like do you know what i mean it's just lashes and it feels great um yeah so love lash london okay so the next um lovely black business i am supporting is our lovely goods so i need to need to sip some vimto now, um, my friend actually um, purchased a voucher for me and so I went on their website and I was very impressed. It's a very minimalistic kind of brand and um, they specialise in candles and skincare. Um, the thing is with me, I'm quite loyal to candles so I only really like Yankee candles because the quality is great, it smells great, it's an affordable candle and I don't really want to go anywhere else to find any other candle. But 
skincare i'm always willing to try different types of skincare brands and so i purchased a moisturizer and i'm about to open it for you guys so you guys can see what this brand is about and so i can see what this brand is about and actually give a decent review so it came in this box it was delivered to me um and then it has a bit of like decoration here it came like this so you guys can see and it has our lovely goods um it says hello your lovely goods are here and it says enjoy I want you guys to see this it says enjoy and then on this side it says hello whatever it says enjoy your lovely boo thank you so much i love little things like that it's very thoughtful this is great um and then this is what it looks like in the packaging oh lovely goods it's a little sticker i can appreciate people that um you know enjoy packaging then we've got this is what it looks like now i'm just gonna open it up Okay, this is what it looks like, so I can put this box away. I think it's really important to support black businesses because we support, you know, as black people, you know, we used to have, wait, I'm saying we used to have, like, I'm American, but I swear we used to have, like, a black version of Wall Street, and, like, there was a town or city or something like that where a lot of black people owned a lot of stuff, and now, you know, black people don't really own as much as other races do, so it's really important to support your people and oh okay sorry <laughs> um let's see so this is what it looks like Ooh. Da -da -da -da. okay so this is giving me like clinical vibes very smart so they've decided to use a dark jar dark jar and on white paper it just gives me like I already trust you. I already feel like this is legit. I feel like you guys have gone to like the pharmacies and you've gone to science labs and really tested your product just by the look of this, the assumption. So it says use usage, use after a bath or shower and allow to absorb into skin, use daily. Um, the main ingredient is mango, it's got shea butter and jojoba. I used to call it jojoba, jojoba, but it's jojoba oil. <laughs> but yeah, so, okay, cool. Let's see. Oh my god, it doesn't smell of anything, but it reminds me of Play-Doh. Like, you know when you're a kid and you want to lick it? I won't lick it, but it's giving me Play-Doh vibes. And this is what it looks like inside. Just look, 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 look. Is it going to zoom in? I don't know. Okay. Wow. Okay, it's nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. <laughs> I'm just going to use that much. I'm just going to put it on my hands. Oh wow, it's very thick. Oh my god. Okay, so if you not have dry skin like me, if you're not an oily person and you have dry skin, this is the cream for you already because this is so thick. Oh my god. And it's soft as well. Obviously, it's not a hand cream, it's a body cream, but yes! Oh my god, okay, so I'm gonna test this out, yeah? Eh! I'm gonna test it out tomorrow when I have a bath, when I have a shower, and I'm gonna see if it lasts long because right now I'm using cocoa bar. That shit don't really work for me, man. It doesn't, but this... It definitely smells of shea butter. I think it has quite a lot of shea butter, actually, in it. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's definitely shea butter. But I love that it has mango in it. I guess it's something different, but this is definitely a moisturising cream, and I love the packaging. And, you, you know, instead of me going out and buying something from the store, let me just support a black business. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm really thankful that I actually got a voucher from a friend um, and I purchased this. I think I'm actually really happy with it because my skin is really dry. Let me tell you, this, this is very moisturising already. But we'll give it a few few hours hopefully nothing happens on my skin but to be honest with you it seems legit it's great now let's talk about black businesses so let's have a little kiki and let's have a little talk about black businesses the things that they don't want to say now for me i've had a mixed experience of black businesses so far love lash london <laughs> and our lovely goods you guys so far i'm happy with it but i have had a few experiences with black owned businesses that weren't really businesses they were just looking to get like they were selling products selling a service but it just wasn't up to par and like i was just really disappointed by that and i feel like sometimes especially on black pound day we get so guess like oh yeah i'm gonna support this business that business and we're like wait a minute we're forking out quite a lot of money for businesses that don't even appreciate customers customer service just general respect like i remember i had um i had purchased something and this person wanted me to try to them to collect it and I'm like 
what like that's absolutely ridiculous and then from that i just learned i'm never gonna like buy anything from them or i wanted to buy something and then i realized it was so expensive so overpriced and then i looked at their competitors selling the exact same thing they were also black people as well and i'm like actually you're just your rates are extortionate and it doesn't make sense so i'm gonna go to your competitor who's also a black owner and i'm gonna use them so i feel like um, the general consensus is, yeah, support black businesses, but at the end of the day, we are in a pandemic, we're going through a recession, people don't have money, so when you guys are researching black businesses, go to reviews like this, like YouTube reviews on skincare and beauty, and actually research the company before you do it, you know, or actually trust the people or know the people or just ask a few questions because... By asking a few questions, you can really find out a lot and you won't have to like spend money on trial and error black businesses. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am gonna be doing much more videos and please let me know if there's any more black businesses I wanna support and I wanna do skincare reviews or anything to do with bath products, um, you know, bathing, oils, anything like that, skincare. Like I wanna definitely try different black owned businesses. So with that being said, make sure you guys subscribe. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>